with Erica, um, and we're from Fight Sports Naples. Um, today we're going to show a technique um, for mount. It's going to uh, it's going to be a cross uh, cross collar choke for mount. Okay. So if you um, come across your opponent um, and you are and they're on their back, what you're going to do? You're going to be on top. This is considered mount. You want to keep your knees close together so that um, that is tight here, and you want to kind of sit so that they feel your pressure. Next thing you want to do, um, you want to you want to base out to maintain the, the position. Um, then you're going to take your um, take your right hand and you want to go four fingers in inside the collar and get a nice secure grip. Um, you don't have to use your right hand, you can use your left hand. I'm going to go four fingers in and I'm going to um, secure it deep. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my hand over to the opposite side and put my, the, my other hand inside, four fingers in. I like to slide because, it, I mean, if I don't slide, she can possibly get out the, the choke or she can see it coming. So I, I slide my hands over and I go four fingers in. Once I'm four fingers in, what you want to do is you want to bring your elbows down to the mat and you want to lean forward. You want to basically put your forehead on the mat. So you're going to put elbows down, squeeze, and lean. You should, if, successfully, if you do this correctly, once you slide over and you have it inside, once you once you squeeze down here, you wouldn't have to automatically bring your forehead down to the mat because you should feel the choke. Again, I have, <clears throat> I got my, I got mount. I'm basing out to secure the, the position. I took my right hand, four fingers in to secure the knee. Then I slide around and I put the next four fingers in and I got a secure, secure upper knee. I got my elbows down to the mat and I lean forward. 